Okay, in the last video, we, we saw the acceleration or some faster variants of uh, uh, plain vanilla gradient descent, stochastic gradient descent, and we primarily saw momentum. Um, this is an animation taken from Stanford. Um, this is uh, this is basically showing the convergence rate so of different kind of algorithms. So this is stochastic gradient descent. This is momentum at a grade at a delta or MS prop, and there are several others, but they are they are just compares they are just comparing how faster uh, each algorithm is being uh, performing in towards the global minimum. So uh, this star basically is assumed to be a global minimum and every algorithm is going to reach towards this uh, this minimum um, so so you can see this uh, plain stochastic gradient descent which is in red it is taking too long to reach there although it is moving towards it but it takes too long and for this particular slide the i guess this eta delta reaches much more quickly but momentum also follows and this uh, kind of uh, but 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 the point of this slide is to show you that um, Applying these uh, applying these adaptive kind of learning rates in a particular way can speed up your uh, convergence much faster. I mean, it can speed up to a much higher level if uh, compared to using uh, uh, plain stochastic gradient descent. But having said that, this is not a theoretical fact. I mean, no one can prove that a particular algorithm may be momentum or eta delta or RMS probe which one is going to work the best for the new data set. Or even maybe stochastic gradient descent is going to work the, the fastest in, in the fastest way for the new data set. No one can no one can claim that in theory till now. But in practice, I mean empirical results have shown that these uh, these kind of accelerations they, they actually speed up the, the convergence issue. Uh, so the gradient descent or the the training of the neural network becomes much faster with these accel accelerations. So um, for now, if you if I tell you the default uh, kind of default practical choices is that you should use mini batches. So mini batch, you should you should use mini batches. Uh, you should use batch normalization. And you should use uh, accelerated algorithms, maybe momentum-based algorithms or second-degree algorithms or something like so. Um, and uh, there should, uh, I mean, uh, no fixed learning rate, no plain vanilla stochastic gradient descent. Don't use batch mode. Don't use stochastic mode for one example. I mean, these are kind of practical choices for large data sets today. So. Um, uh, that's about the convergence or training uh, for the neural network, some practical issues to be discussed uh, that we discussed in uh, in very layman terms. Um, in the next few slides, I'm going to discuss the regularization in, in deep neural networks because the regularization techniques in deep neural networks uh, are, are a bit different than the standard regularization techniques in machine learning. So hope to see you in the next video.